want to stop gay, doesn't know what gay is all about and why people are gay. I don't think that it's bad. I mean, the prejudice or people who are against gay people or lesbian people, that they're not terrible, horrible people. That's just their opinion. This is the first time I've ever talked about gay and lesbians in our group. I went to the Maynard School for three years and nobody ever really talked about it, but a lot of people would call each other other each other names and call each other gay and everybody was really mean about it. Who like really cares if you're gay? It's like barely nobody knows in the world. It's like what's what's the big whoop? Most adults don't see why schools should teach young children about gay people. And they can't imagine how teachers could possibly present this subject matter in an age-appropriate way. This video explores some of the reasons why it is important for schools, starting with elementary age children, to address lesbian and gay issues. And it shows some creative ways teachers are drawing from their students' own life experiences to include this subject in their classrooms and make school a safe place for learning for every child. From activities about stereotypes and current events to those about different kinds of families, growing numbers of educators are taking steps in their school communities to teach children respect for all. stereotypes up here on the board and what I'd like to do is try to develop some kind of a cluster around it of various stereotypes that you've either heard or experienced yourself about either your own group or about different people. Um, Raimel. Some people think that all teenagers are drug dealers. Okay, teenagers as drug dealers. Now Raimel, let me ask you a question. Okay. Are some teenagers drug dealers? Yeah. Okay, and that's and that's in, that's often the way a stereotype develops. Right there, it's like this little, yeah. Some teenagers <laughs> are drug dealers, right? Or some people with baggy clothes stuff their pockets full of candy in the store, but then it's applied to the whole group, right? And that's that's what a stereotype does. Okay, uh, other stereotypes. Uh, like with Latins, everybody thinks that all of them eat beans and rice. That's not true. We. Okay. I mean, some of them do, right? But I okay. mean, that's not all we eat. Okay, Latinos eat beans and rice. Like, Crystal, what did you have for dinner last night? Last night, I had Filipino food. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you didn't have the you didn't have beans and rice. Okay. No. Keep in your mind this issue of stereotypes, and then try to think about it as you're thinking about lesbians and gay men. What I'd like you to do right now is take about 10 minutes and I want you to write first what your attitude is, what you think your attitude right at this moment is about the whole issue of homosexuality. And the second thing is what you would most like to learn. And I want you to write at least, I don't want like two sentences. I don't think anything, I don't want to learn nothing. Right? I don't want that. I want you to really try and write something at least one paragraph and hopefully two. When I first started raising the issues in class, when I, was, when I first started teaching, students would say, well, why are you so interested in this? You know? Are you gay? And the, you know, and the implication was that this is, that really the only people that could possibly be interested in this issue would be gay people. 
I mean, why else would somebody even bother? I explained to them why, as a straight man, I would be interested in this issue. And I like to answer the question because I think that it, it pushes them to think about this as more than just a lesbian and gay matter. Okay, who's going to start? Kelly. All right, Kelly, you want to start? If they want to be gay, that's all right, because I just might try to talk them out of it. But if it doesn't work, that's their problem. There's nothing that I can much do. Who's next? Jennifer. <coughs> well, not sure. I really, it's because I just found out about my aunt. I never knew until about a year ago. I thought she was a regular person. But when they told me, I didn't want to get next to her. I thought she was the most nastiest person. Now I'm okay with seeing her, but I still have a problem spending a night over her house. Hi, Mom. Most of the time, I put gays and lesbians down. I know it's not right, but I do it anyway. I say things like, gay men molest children. But that's not true. Most of the time, I don't even know what I'm saying. I say it all out of ignorance. I should find out what's true first before even saying anything about gays and lesbians. Okay, so this is a chance to educate yourselves in the sense of really getting an opportunity to engage on this issue. And you're going to have speakers tomorrow who are gay and who are willing to come and talk about their lives. And that's an opportunity, again, for you to ask questions that you really have about this. <laughs> You walk out in the halls of the school and the word of choice is faggot. And to me, there's, you know, I, I react the same way when I hear someone, when I hear a girl called a bitch. You know, I think it's, you know, it's, uh, it, it shouldn't be tolerated in a school, in a school environment. But you can't just say stop. You have to educate about it. And if you don't educate about it, it won't stop. <laughs> Do you remember way at the beginning of the year we talked about, um, I gave you, I told you the word Indian and I asked you to paint whatever came to mind when you heard that word. Do you remember that? Yeah. Same thing. What I want you to do when you, when you go in just a minute and work in small groups, you're not going to be painting, okay, you're going to be writing down um, whatever comes to your mind when you hear the word gay or when you hear the word lesbian. So nothing's right or wrong there is in no this right, either? That's right. There's All no right. right or wrong answer. Yeah. So the activities about gay people and... Mm-hmm. Oh. I didn't know. Okay. That. About how many, um, how many ideas should we come up with? That's a good question. Try and come up with about 20, if you can. If you can't, you can't, but try. Yeah. When I think of gay, I think of someone, like, working, a boy working funny, like a girl. When I think of gay, I think of cross-dressing, like a boy dressed up like a girl and a girl dressed up like a boy, but they both love each other. What? Sick. Sick. It's so sick. Okay, write that down. He's thinking, ew.